name's David Lawrence. I'm a project manager for Fairview Homes. My name's Joanne and this is Max and we have a Primrose house. My name is Rajan Patel. I live in the Fuchsia house, which is a four bedroom, three bathroom house. Before I actually started at Buntingford, I spent three or four months on my previous site just planning uh, the route of build and because it, it's such a large development with, with 316 plots um, we decided to, to split the, the development up into phases. Um, the good thing with, with, with Fairviews is that they allowed me to build roughly 25 plots before anyone moved in so what the customers were getting were, were getting a finished area so when they moved in, all the soft landscaping was done, hard landscaping, street lights, street name plates, everything was finished. No noise, no muddy roads, no nothing like that. We liked that when we came to look at the development that all the building work was sort of going around. We wasn't actually going to be living sort of near any of the building work. I wasn't concerned that he'd be up all night because of sort of building work. It provides homes for the full spectrum. Um, we've got first time buyers here, um, we've got people that didn't think they could afford to live in Buntingford that we're going to have to move out. We wanted to move to um, somewhere that was going to be good for him growing up, that had good schools. Um, we're obviously looking for a new build property as well, so when we came to the sort of the development, um, it sort of ticked all the boxes that we wanted. This sort of worked in terms of commuting for my husband, but also just with the pram, it's nice and easy to get to for the high street. There's lots of activities for him going on at the children's centre that I don't have to always get in the car. I can get my sort of exercise in and, and walk. Just a nice sort of community feel. When I went my antenatal classes, one of the girls over the road, I found she only lived over the road, so we've sort of made quite a few sort of friends, mum friends. There's a mix of two, three and four beds. A couple of them are two storeys, some of them are three storeys, some of them both two storeys and three storeys. We really liked the dimensions of the Primrose. We especially liked the kitchen, everything was integrated. We liked that it had the kitchen diner aspect at the back of the house leading onto the garden. Thinking for the summer, if you've got a barbecue, it's easier to sort of open the doors and bring the food outside. And um, We liked the bay window, especially in the front room, especially for Christmas, to a perfect place for the Christmas tree. And um, it's quite a nice large room, um, able to fit our sofas in there, quite a lot of space, and hide all the baby toys behind the sofa so you can't see, see them. And um, what we really liked was the ensuite in our sort of main bedroom. When we looked at some of the other homes, um, they were still really nice, but this one just had a bit of extra sort of spark to it because um, it had the nice sort of walk in sort of double shower rather than the corner shower. And um, it was the landing as well that it was when we came to look at the show home was really sort of big and it was all well proportioned that we could have a small room for, for Max and also have a double bedroom um, for guests to stay as well. Kitchen is very bright and very spacious, which I, myself as an amateur chef, I do like to entertain people, so it is very, very good for me. The rows, they're nicely designed, that you don't feel like you're just house after house after house. And I like how they've interspersed different designs. It's not all primroses, it's not all daffodils. Um, you don't feel like you're just one of a number of houses that look identical. So I like how they've used also different brickwork throughout. So you do feel like you've got a different feel as you're walking around. Um, so I think a lot of sort of thought's been added to the design. With Fairview's development and compared to other developments, the layout of roads and the parking spaces and uh, even driveways are very spacious and wide. So we really like that the houses weren't built on top of each other. You find a lot of new builds, it's trying to cram as many houses as they sort of want. But I feel like nothing here has been sort of compromised. Back, back last year in 2017, we won a, an NHBC Pride in the Job Award. Obviously, once, once we had the uh, area manager for the NHBC come round, the thing that hit them the most was, was the organisation and the cleanliness of the site. But the main thing was definitely the finishes. They said that it's, it's some of the best finishing they've ever seen. What we really liked about the development was, um, as we've learned, there's a few other mums there with babies that are going to be a similar age to Max and um, they're all going to obviously go to the same schools together and it's going to be a nice sort of area for him to grow, to grow up in. I do really, really like my home. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, this is my one, two, three, fourth home and I think this is, this is the best one. 
we wanted somewhere that was going to be safe for him, um, somewhere that he could sort of walk, ride his bike and feel safe and find sort of a nice place to bring up our family and this sort of ticked all the boxes.